to go look at these watches guys uh, these are all Seiko watches they're very special Seiko watches and uh, and uh, following videos on my channel an EDC gunner uh, if you subscribe you can expect to see each one of them and but today we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about one of my favorites because because it's my favorite I want to talk to you about let's see where are you mate where is you where are you oh no we have here we have here something like this Seiko fans will know but I wanna oh there you go there you are Seiko Poke 6139 is the moment and 6000 6002 6005 depends on the different markets is the reference of these Seiko Pokes not every watch is a Seiko Poke uh, for example some I see some people calling uh, calling this one Seiko Poke it is the same watch but it does not look the same and uh, Seiko Poke is special because it was the first automatic watch in space and uh, we did not know that uh, we did not know that up until the internet and forums watch forums if you remember those I love watch forums I wish we could go back in those days it was something magical uh, with these watch forums and uh, some of the watch nerds like you and me on one of those watch forums they were checking out some space photos and they noticed a different watch next to a Speedmaster Moon watch Speedmaster Professional for Omega they noticed different watch on Colonel William Boke's hand and soon enough someone wrote to him it was confirmed and uh, whatnot whatnot uh, and they learned that it was this Seiko well not this Seiko but it looks the same uh, the true Boke has a water resist 70 meters here and says here up down uh, automatic but it has a yellow sunburst dial with a Pepsi bezel and uh, uh, original uh, Poke Seiko Poke worn uh, from Colonel William Poke was sold at the charity auction for around I don't know 5k or something uh, do not quote me on that one so it, it has a neat story so the story is from what I heard I cannot tell you because I'm not him uh, is that uh, prior to getting prior to getting standard issue moon watch he trained himself to operate chronograph on this Seiko and he had a Seiko like this oh it was the poke we need some power reserve on this guy and uh, yeah he trained himself to operate this guy on this guy and the, he he wore it on his other hand basically he snuck it up there so that's a cool story uh, what's cool about this watch other than the story and what's cool about the Seiko chronographs is first of all you cannot but not to admire this yellow uh, dial it's so quirky and funky this watch uh, it's incredible uh, it has a Pepsi bezel I think this is like the first Pepsi bezel I don't know uh, but I heard that people are saying this is the first pe Pepsi bezel after that Pepsi bezel became like the thing uh, anyways so the moment inside is uh, one of the Seiko's first automatic calibers uh, you know the Zenit El Primero like the El Primero first uh, is the first automatic chronograph but at the same time uh, in 69 uh, somewhere in Japan uh, they were developing the Seiko automatic chronograph also the Hoyer with some other partners were also de developing the context Zenith is the first but you can argue the Seiko came out at the same time it doesn't matter it's a Columnville uh, vertical clutch color chronograph uh, true piece of horology at the bargain prices and even though the prices uh, went up for these and the prices went up for basically all watches 
it's still a bargain if you're looking at it as a vertical column view chronograph uh, which it is and uh, it has an interesting case shape uh, the watch has a it has a real interesting case shape it's kind of funky and it wears in, on the wrist like a cushion I don't know what you're gonna call it it's brushed polish on the side case back here nothing special the bracelet Seiko quality and I have to tell you one thing about these watches this is inner rotating bezel you have a tachymeter scale on the bezel uh, the minefield of these watches if you are following if you've been following my channel you know that a couple years ago I purchased one poke this is not mine purchased one poke and it was completely aftermarket uh, I didn't even think about it when I bought it and some of you pointed out that to me I still love that watch it was beautiful and everything but um, having learned that it was completely aftermarket the dial the you can tell this dial has a lots of patina on the loom dots and everything so you you can you can see it has some age to it so I know the people can artificially age them but you can never really be sure so I'm not really sure bezel inserts are standard aftermarket even bracelets and uh, yeah that's the minefield uh, you are getting into I purchased that poke I was very happy with it but once I learned it was aftermarket I got rid of it uh, the one thing on these poke watches is the crown as recessed the crown is recess and it has a here indent I don't know what you call it it has an indent here so that's the original crown it's not signed and uh, it's very cool uh, so yeah you can see it on my wrist uh, this is a 41 mil uh, chronograph uh, and uh, on my seven and a half inch wrist and it works well I love the case I love everything about it it's not for everyone and not everyone can own this watch and buy it but this is not definitely a watch uh, that's latest and greatest but I think this brings value to the table this brings value to your collection and uh, my channel has always been about finding the best deals best bargains best value for money and I think these watches uh, back in the days they were these were bargains so people only bought them because they like them and uh, I certainly like this one and uh, when you connect the story of the space watch poke and everything uh, these watches became became quite expensive but uh, nevertheless very cool watch and uh, I have more of these cool Seikos on my channel coming up so make sure to subscribe and if you want to support me like me this video like this video